Hello, and welcome to the Wayne State University Commencement Ceremony. My name is David Strauss, and as the Dean of Students, it is my privilege and honor to recognize and celebrate our graduating class of 2021. This year has presented all of us with unprecedented challenges, but our students have shown their warrior strength through their perseverance and dedication. This is no small feat, and your achievements are made all the greater by the difficulties and uncertainties you have endured. I believe there's no limit to what you can accomplish, and today marks the first of many steps you will take towards securing a brighter future for everyone. On behalf of the Dean of Students Office, the Student Senate, and all the student organizations, let me be the first to congratulate each of our students on this momentous occasion, the confirmation and celebration of Wayne State University's class of 2021. I would now like to introduce our Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Lori Lozon Claybo. Thank you, Dean Strauss. Congratulations to all of you for reaching this day. In spite of the circumstances, this is a celebration for the entire university. For over 150 years, Wayne State University has anchored the city of Detroit as an engaged and motivated community of scholars. Wayne State is one of the nation's 50 largest public universities with Michigan's most diverse student body. Today, more than 27,000 students from nearly every U.S. state and many countries around the world are pursuing degrees at Wayne State. Each one is earning an education at a nationally ranked research university, strengthened by the culture, industry, and diversity of its urban setting. We believe in the definition of a university as a place where highly motivated people of differing backgrounds and aspirations pursue both knowledge and personal growth. I know all of you gathered here today have been able to experience all that this great university has to offer. You've grown in knowledge and developed your skills in the fields you have chosen. You've made us all very proud of you. I know that each of you went through a lot to get to this point, but this moment's not only for you, but also for your families and friends who made a lot of sacrifices so that you could succeed. There's no such thing as a self-made woman or man. We are all shaped by the influence and examples of everyone around us. Family, friends, and faculty have all helped you to get to this day. They are all teachers and mentors in their own ways. If a supportive member of your life is with you now, please give them a hug, an air hug, or whatever's appropriate to let them know how much you appreciate them. And if they're not with you right now, sometime today, give them a call. Let them know how much their support has meant to you. On behalf of the more than 2,600 faculty, academic staff, advisors, the deans of our 13 colleges and schools, and others who've taught you in virtual classrooms, worked with you in labs, guided you in real world settings, and met with you in their offices, we extend our deepest congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Honorable Marilyn Kelly, Chair of the University's Board of Governors, who will bring greetings on behalf of the board, Governor Kelly. Greetings to each of you on this very special day. On behalf of the Board of Governors, it's my pleasure to welcome the graduates of the Class of 2021 and give you our deepest and most heartfelt congratulations. The past 12 months have been a challenge for all of us. Even today, as you graduate, the world churns under our feet with seismic change, but that tumult must not be permitted to drown out what's happening here. It must not distract Wayne State University from recognizing your significant accomplishments and giving you the recognition you've earned. A commencement ceremony is the culmination of big dreams and high hopes. You've worked oh so diligently to reach this moment and you should be proud, as we are, of your accomplishments. 
You're graduating with a degree from an outstanding institution. Today, you join more than 280,000 alumni who call Wayne State University their alma mater. Your dedication and commitment have brought you to this moment and have set the path for your success in the years to come. We know that the warrior spirit runs strong in you, and that spirit and the education you got here will guide you like a trusted compass in the future. Congratulations from the Board of Governors, our best wishes to you and to your families on this wonderful milestone. A very important group among us had the great honor, the education of these fine men and women. I'd like to introduce Brad Roth, a member of the Academic Senate, professor of law in the law school, and professor of political science in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, who will bring greetings on behalf of the faculty. Professor Roth. Thank you, Provost Clavo. On behalf of the faculty of Wayne State University, I would like to offer each of you my warmest congratulations. This is a day of joy for all here, students, parents, and faculty. Of course, for those of you who think that academics are over with, I can say, speaking from my own personal experience, that you may find that there is yet another degree that you just have to have. Rest assured, we will welcome you back with open arms. I hope that all of you can think back fondly on the journey that brought you here today. And I also hope that you realize the role that the Wayne State faculty had in getting you to this important milestone in your life. As a comprehensive research university, Wayne State has well over a thousand faculty who not only convey received knowledge, but generate new knowledge. They conduct path-breaking research in their fields, establishing national and international reputations for themselves, for their departments, and for Wayne State University. They have acted as your teachers, advisors, and mentors. You've had the opportunity to work with and learn from top flight scholars from whom teaching is a passion faculty devoted to helping you navigate what promises to be a complicated future. Although it's likely that the knowledge that you gain here will enable you to get a good job and earn a better income, this is a byproduct, not the main product, of your education. In addition to providing our students with knowledge, education must enable our students to think critically, to distinguish sound ideas from half-baked notions, news from propaganda, genuinely arguable propositions from sheer demagoguery, Education must empower students to grapple with divisive questions that beset our society, with an insistence on justice for all, and also in a spirit of mutual respect and inclusion. I hope you will agree with me that our faculty have not only provided you with practical knowledge, but also taught you how to think analytically and evaluate critically the world around you. Rest assured that what you have learned here at Wayne State has prepared you to continue your education out in the wider world. I hope that we as faculty members have taught you that learning is a lifelong pursuit. Life is going to demand that you do a great many difficult things, and I'm confident that the preparation you received here will serve you well. Let me close by telling you that the faculty and administration are very proud of our graduates, and we look forward to hearing from you as you move forward. What you accomplish, what you will become, will be a source of vicarious pleasure for those of us who were your teachers and mentors. You've graduated from a very special university, one that defi defines excellence in terms of who we include, not whom we exclude. A university that respects its students enough to demand much of them, but that also shows its students understanding and friendship. Today, we share your pride and your hope for the future. Congratulations again on your success today. I hope you all continue to learn. I wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you, Professor Roth. It is now with distinct pleasure that I introduce Wayne State's 12th president, Dr. M. Roy Wilson. Greetings, graduates, and congratulations. If we were in the Fox Theater or out on Fort Field right now, as we all would have preferred, you would have seen the room crowded with all the people who are so happy to celebrate your achievement. Parents, siblings, spouses, children, professors, and advisors. We're already making plans to give you the in-person celebration with your families and loved ones and your professors you richly deserve in April 2022. But until we can offer you that in-person experience, you will have to imagine those crowds smiling and cheering for you now. We are so very proud of you, and it is my honor and privilege to share this moment with you. 
The class of 2021 holds a special place in Wayne State's history. You've weathered unprecedented challenges over the past year or more because of this pandemic that has altered life as we know it. More than perhaps any other graduating class in 153 year history, you have proven your mettle as warriors. Unstoppable, adaptable, courageous and kind, strong. You understand better than perhaps any generation in a very long time how the unpredictable can suddenly rear up and change our lives. Many of you grew up in a post 9-11 world. You survived multiple recessions. You have reckoned with the deadly virus that swept the globe and claimed the millions of lives. You have borne witness to a national reckoning with the systemic racism that still plagues this country. The class of 2021 has endured all this trauma, but you didn't just endure. Many of you have thrived, finding an inner calling to become social justice activists or healthcare heroes, or simply more thoughtful, better informed neighbors and citizens in your communities. The world is unpredictable. Life is unpredictable. This will never change. You, however, have changed. You are better equipped to face that world and thrive and make it a better place because of your time here at Wayne State University. You've learned from the finest faculty who have stretched your intellects and pushed you further than you've ever been pushed before. You've worked incredibly hard to the point of exhaustion, and by living and learning in the heart of Detroit, you have learned what it means to be a compassionate and engaged member of your community. Industry, intelligence, integrity, these are the words engraved in the Wayne State University seal, and these are the gifts you carry with you as you enter the next chapter of your lives. We are seeing a light on the horizon as vaccines roll out around the world and infection rates decline. And it's possible to see that now, in the aftermath of one of humanity's gravest disasters, incredible opportunities will present themselves to you. Opportunities for jobs, or further education, opportunities to improve your corner of the world no matter how big or small, opportunities to be kind and just. And because of your time at Wayne State, you are ready to take advantage of them. Louis Pasteur once observed, chance favors the prepared mind. Each of you is prepared for whatever life may bring, and for this reason, I am confident for your shared future. Congratulations once again, class of 2021. I could not be prouder of you, and I wish you nothing but the very best of life. Thank you, President Wilson. Now we begin the traditional part of the ceremony, the formal acknowledgement of the candidates for degrees and the conferring of those degrees. I would like to ask Provost Clabo to join us to present the candidates. Mr. President, over 3,700 students were eligible and applied to graduate from our 13 schools and colleges. These candidates will now be acknowledged for their degrees by the Dean. From the Mike Illich School of Business, the Master and Bachelor degree candidates will be presented by Dean Robert Forsyth. Dean Forsyth? Mr. President, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the Mike Illich School of Business, I have the honor to acknowledge these candidates for the degrees as listed in the commencement program book. Ladies and gentlemen, now the most solemn moment of commencement as the President confers the degrees. Mr. President? The authority to confer each of these degrees is vested in the Board of Governors of Wayne State University by the people of the state of Michigan under the Constitution of the state. This authority is delegated to the President by the Board. Each of these degrees is granted on the recommendation of the faculty of the university. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors and upon the recommendation of the respective faculties, I do hereby confer upon you 
the degree for which the faculties have recommended you, and I admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. Congratulations. Thank you, President Wilson. For all those who are with us today, please join me in congratulating all of the graduates for their efforts and accomplishments. Back to you, Dean Strauss. Thank you, Provost Klebo. I would like to now welcome Dean Forsyth back to address the graduates from the Mike Illich School of Business. Both personally and on behalf of the faculty and staff of the Mike Illich School of Business, it is my distinct pleasure and privilege to congratulate all of our graduates for the tremendous accomplishments you are celebrating today. Whether you are earning your bachelor's, master's, or doctorate, none of you would be here today without a great deal of personal commitment, determination, and sacrifice. The class of 2021 will be remembered and celebrated for its perseverance. You have overcome great hurdles to accomplish this goal. All of today's graduates will be recognized by name at the end of this program. A complete list can also be found on our website at illagebusiness.wayne.edu. At this time, it is my honor to introduce our May 2021 student speaker, Jed Hamdan. Highly decorated during his time at the Mikey Ulrich School of Business, Jed was recognized as one of the school's prestigious 25 under 25 in 2020. He was also the undergraduate recipient of the school's 2020 Outstanding Student Award, nominated by Illinois School faculty and staff, and selected by the Office of the Dean. Outstanding Student Award winners are chosen based upon academic achievement, service to the school and university, and community involvement. Jad graduates today with a Bachelor's of Science in Information Systems Management and Global Supply Chain Management. Take it away, Jad. Thank you, Dean Forsyth. To my fellow graduates, we did it. We made it through years of learning, socializing, interning, laughing, crying, heartbreak, and sleeping, just to end up on the other side of the screen looking at that one guy who used to have a man bun give you a commencement speech. And no, I'm not talking about Dean Forsyth. As I attempted to draft this speech, I, of course, like everyone in our class, decided to check Quizlet and Chegg for some guidance. However, finding none, I began thinking of what might interest my fellow classmates while mitigating my contribution to your Zoom fatigue. So today, after having watched a countless number of commencement speeches and staring out a window, wondering when I would sit in a restaurant again, I thought it would be best to break this down into a couple life lessons that I've learned and that I believe you've subconsciously learned throughout your journey here at Wayne State. So let's begin. Let's begin with a story of a boy who decided to become a lifeguard, knowing full well he couldn't swim. Yep, that was me, a 17-year-old boy, just graduated high school, who believed lifeguarding would be easy. I mean, think about it. All you have to do is sit in the sun, get a tan, and watch people have fun. Or so I thought. To my credit, the written portion of lifeguard training was relatively easy. After all, it was like taking a regular class. We've all done that. Oh, and a uh, fun fact for you, while administering CPR, one can either sing Staying Alive by the Bee Gees or Another One Bites the Dust by Queen, just depending on how optimistic you're feeling. Hopefully, it's the former. The part that gave me the most anxiety was when the instructor told us we'd have to tread water for five minutes and then without break, dive down 13 feet to simulate a spinal rescue. Now to put this into perspective, this was a difficult task even for those who had a background in swimming. So you could only imagine the horror that ran through my spine knowing I also had to do this. I entered the water and immediately felt my clothes become 20 pounds heavier. Trying to calm myself down, I slowed my breathing and moved into a position a good distance away from my only savior, the pool wall. Swearing at myself in my head, telling myself I should have stayed a dang waiter, I trod on, continuously spitting out water, staring at the clock and trying to keep the water below my neck. Until finally, our instructor yelled, now. I took a deep breath and dove down to the 13 foot depth and thought, this is it. This is where I pass out. Fighting the urge to try and swim up, I closed my eyes and just sank. What felt like an eternity quickly came to a close as I felt the floor of the pool touch my feet. I immediately pushed myself back to the surface, taking the biggest breath of my life. At the time, I hadn't realized what a lesson I had learned. That summer was the best summer to date. I had over 14 saves and was ecstatic to see the sigh of relief people had as we pulled them out of the water. To sum it up, there is no courage without risk. We only grow when we exit our comfort zones and take risks that rattle us to our inner core. 
Sometimes these risks are studying a day before an exam or turning a paper in at 11.58 p.m., pushing each of us to new limits we once thought were impossible. The second lesson I learned comes from one of our favorite uncles, Uncle Iroh, who once stated, sometimes the best way to solve your own problem is to help someone else. We've all heard about the value of networking, but have you heard about the value of helping others? A small act of kindness can go a long way. You never know who needs nothing more than a simple smile to turn their day around. Take a genuine interest in those around you and they will more than likely do the same. Wayne State has introduced us to fellow classmates, faculty, and administrators from all over the world. You truly never know who may be able to help you solve your problem. As the next generation of executives, founders, entrepreneurs, and game changers, entering a world we could have never imagined, we still have a lot of work to do to make our world more diverse, equitable, and inclusive. By graduating here today, you are already making a difference in Detroit and around the world. We will create, we will innovate, and we will make a positive impact around the globe. But before you do that, don't forget to thank all the teachers, parents, siblings, professors, grandparents, faculty, children, administrators, and all that have helped you come this far. Now, I'm gonna leave you here today with something my high school principal, Miss Christmas, quoted to me in my 2017 high school class just four years ago. People may be unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered. Love them anyway. If you do good, people may accuse you of selfish motives. Do good anyway. If you're successful, you may win false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Honesty and transparency may make you vulnerable. Be honest and transparent anyway. What you spend years building may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. People who really need help may attack you if you help them. Help them anyway. Give the world the best you have and you may get hurt. Give the world your best anyway. Thank you. Thank you, Jad. To all of our 2021 graduates, congratulations once again on this tremendous accomplishment. Wherever your next chapter may take you, I hope it gives you pride and comfort to know that you always have a home at the Mike Illich School of Business. Until we can celebrate with you in person, Please know that we are proud to welcome you to our powerful network of more than 37,000 Illich Business alumni here in Metro Detroit and across the globe. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. And now I would like to introduce Peter Caborn, Associate Vice President for Alumni Relations and Advancement Services and Executive Director of the WSU Alumni Association to welcome the university's newest alumni. Please welcome Mr. Caborn. Thank you, Dean Strauss. Congratulations, graduates. You arrived at Wayne State as students, but you leave as so much more. You are powerful examples of success. You've demonstrated that with grit, opportunity, and ambition, anything is possible. When the world drastically changed last year, you pivoted and stayed focused to finish. It was no easy feat, and that's what makes reaching this point of your academic journey even more significant. As you move your tassel from student to a graduate of the class of 2021, you also move into the Wayne State alumni community, and we are honored to have you. You now join more than 283,000 people who have also succeeded and continue to succeed. There are Wayne State alumni in every part of Detroit, in every corner of Michigan, across our country, and all around the world. No matter where your journey takes you, you will find a Wayne State connection. We also hope you'll stay connected with us we offer many programs and opportunities for our alumni, including ways to give back. Perhaps you're interested in mentoring students who are following in your footsteps or connecting with alumni in your career field. The Alumni Association offers this and much more. And we wanna know where life takes you. So please share your accomplishments and your updates with us as you achieve milestones throughout your journey. Keep in touch with us via our website at alumni.wayne.edu. On behalf of the Alumni Association, congratulations again on your accomplishments. We cannot wait to see what you do next. 
Thank you, Mr. Caborn. Thank you, parents, families, friends, and most of all, graduates, for joining us in this celebration. Once again, congratulations, class of 2021.